This is objectively a strange photo. I mean, it's just all over the place. And this is no one-off occurrence. There are countless others just like it that have this weird aura that you can't just quite put your finger on. If you're watching this video right now, you've probably been through quite the rabbit hole. I don't know if this is really something that you just stumble upon, but hey, if it is, what's up? In this video, I'm gonna be discussing some really weird internet aesthetics and also what they even are. So if you're interested, get yourself a snack and maybe a glass of tea and get somewhere comfortable because this is gonna be a banger. So an internet aesthetic is basically a very niche specific style of visual art. This visual art is often paired with certain sounds, music, brands, and recurring graphics. These hyper specific styles have grown in popularity throughout the 2010s and 2020s and have sparked countless communities surrounding the ideals of each aesthetic. It's important to note that one of the most prominent aesthetics that you might have already heard of is known as Vaporwave, for the most part, rose to popularity in 2015, but its origins date back to the very early 2010s. It's characterized by its slowed down, abnormally pitched jazz samples from the 70s, as well as specific brands like Fiji Water, Microsoft, Nintendo, and early day Macintosh. It takes inspiration from a niche genre of commercial products called vaporware. Vaporware denotes a category of technological products that are announced but never actually released. Some examples include Star Citizen, Duke Nukem Forever, and Cherry Windows 97, which was never formally announced but was mostly a community project. There have also been a number of Vaporwave-inspired musical works as well, most prominently Windows 96. That's pretty much the bulk of the notable information on Vaporwave, which is going to bring us to our next topic. Dreamcore and Weirdcore are extremely similar, so I'm just going to cover them both here. Dreamcore is an aesthetic which essentially aims to replicate the unexplainable feeling you get when you're in a dream that doesn't really make any sense. Kind of like how you know when things shouldn't work or be real, but they make sense in a way. Like this photo, for example. It looks kind of normal, but at the same time, something's definitely off. And this one. There's nothing inherently wrong with it, it just doesn't feel right. Dreamcore relies heavily on grassy landscapes with bright blue skies and often clouds. Weirdcore is very similar, however, it much more often implements text and edited imagery that doesn't really make any sense. Traumacore is basically a visual medium for glorifying the effects of trauma on a person's later life. It often implements characteristics of childhood to emphasize how young the person was when they experienced this trauma. Hello Kitty and other childhood characters are utilized to further romanticize this. At the end of the day, it's a really weird aesthetic, if you can even call it that. And if you do need help dealing with the effects of trauma or PTSD, probably don't do this. You should just call this number instead. So, GeoCities was a pretty popular website hosting program back in the late 90s. This was obviously at a time where web development was really primitive, and even the most cutting edge design looked like this. This kind of spawned this aesthetic based around elements of early day web design popularized by GeoCities. For example, if you explored the internet around then, this might bring up some nostalgia for you. 